got a submission here from Genovos. Uh, lots of information about your setup in the post. Thank you for all that information. I'm not going to read it off. Folks who care can read it from the original post or just pause the video and read it. Uh, but the gist is that you have got a wobbly problem. And um, you say you've had it on this frame with different motors and props, tried a bunch of different motors, and I assume you've been trying to tune it. So the fact that it is just continued to be a problem on all kinds of different setups, I mean, you kind of got to look for what the common thing is, right? So it's a ZMR180. I don't even know what that is. I guess it's a ZMR. Oh, that's, that's actually a really cute little copter right there. How about that? So, I mean, you certainly, if it's constant on this one thing, then maybe it's the frame, right? Like, I don't want to take the cheap way out and be like, oh, it's your frame, see? And then, then just, like, call it a day. But uh, if you're constantly changing a bunch of different things and you're always having a problem, it is worth looking at. Now, I will tell you some other things. I'm not going to be able to give you, like, a definite answer because the problem you're having is kind of subtle. But uh, I'm going to give you some suggestions as to what it might be. And then you can try all of them, and maybe one of them will be right. It's kind of the buckshot approach. I uh, tell you what, let me just play this video and show everybody what maybe you can see what's happening here. Okay, now you see that the kind of bumpiness there. Now, was that the problem you're talking about? I feel like it probably is because that kind of thing happens at other times, but it's the most, uh, the most pronounced there. I do, however, notice that you're flying, you're flying kind of high, and you're right here next to this uh, hill here. So I, I certainly can't rule out that you just went through some wind there. But if we keep watching the video, it kind of happens at other times. It's a little less pronounced. And um, so let's talk about some things that could cause that. Well, first of all. It's not oscillation. I don't call what that's that oscillation because I think oscillation has a, a regular ca characteristic to it. And, and it's kind of, it's got a consistent frequency. And that is more sort of random kind of, of a, I could, I call it sometimes a, a skitteriness or a buffeting. Uh, it's got kind of or like, like driving on a rough road and kind of bouncing a little. Um, but it doesn't have the, the characteristic uh, consistent frequency of a p-term oscillation where it's like bop, 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 right um, this is kind of random it's like twitch 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 okay so that's probably not p gain okay whenever I see something like that that's not the first place my mind goes so then what could it be uh, one of the things it could be is excess noise coming out of the gyro the noise it gets to a point where the PID loop responds to it and it results in these kind of weird random twitches because the noise is kind of random and and it's happening too fast for the PID loop to really compensate for it uh, maybe that will be less true at four kilohertz or eight kilohertz maybe the noise will the PID loop will just respond to it and everything will be amazing I don't know but uh, for right now that's it, it, it can't really respond to it fast enough and so it results in these kind of random twitches so excess noise that's one Number two would be excess D gain. Um, excess D gain, that's a, kind of the same answer as number one because D gain amplifies noise. So if you have a copter that has very little noise, but then you crank the D gains to the roof, the D term will amplify the noise and the PID sum will be kind of twitchy as if you had too much noise. So those are the first two things I think about from a tuning perspective when I see stuff like this. Okay, what else do I think about for, for when I see stuff like this? you got to consider that your camera may be loose, okay? Uh, sometimes inside the camera, the sensor is loose. So, you, like, the camera is completely tight. The lens is, make sure the lens, there's a little retaining screw on some of the lenses. Make sure that that's tight. And then also possibly open it up and, like, with, like, something, I don't know what you would even use, like, Obviously not something that's going to scratch the sensor, but just maybe open it up and look inside and shake the camera a little and see if the sensor moves. Or, look, if you got a spare camera, just swap the camera out and see if that fixes it. If you haven't swapped the camera out, that might be like the first thing I would try here. Um, but this doesn't exactly look like a loose camera because, I mean, it could really be anything depending on exactly how it's loose. But um, 
it, it, it seems like it would kind of be happening all the time, and uh, this doesn't seem quite like that. So, all that being said, let's look at your tune. And we'll start by looking at your gyros, as usual, zoomed out to 10%. Um, your lines, well, your yaw line looks great, <laughs> which is a little unexpected. Yaw is often the noisiest one. But we can definitely see something is going on. Like, what's happening here? Is this full throttle? Okay, so that's full throttle. We shouldn't read too much into that. Full throttle gets a little noisy. That's, that's sort of to be expected. What about right here? Is this full throttle? No. Okay, see how crazy, like, noisy this is. What's going on there? I don't know. Something's going on, though. And just generally, we've got a lot of activity here on the, on the pitch and the roll. Uh, I'm going to guess if I were better prepared, I would have already downloaded your command line dump and checked it. But instead, I'm going to just do it now while you all sit there and watch. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to guess um, <clears throat> gyro LPF off. Okay, that's that's what I would have guessed. Um, and I'm guessing your D-term is also off. Okay, so you're very, very unfiltered. So the amount of noise that we're seeing, like, right here, that is not out of the ordinary for uh, having no filtering and not necessarily a problem on every copter, although it may be a problem on some copters. Your flight controller is, uh, the power cube is Calibri Ray. And I have just paused the video for briefly and done, uh, a very, very lazy half-assed Google search and can't find any reference to what, uh, which MCU chip is used on it. But I would be very curious to know if it used the MCU, uh, 6500, uh, versus the 6000 or 6050. In other words, the one with the worst noise spec. I would be very curious about that, but I can't find the answer. And, uh, so we'll just move on. Let's take a look at this section here. Your throttle is not particularly high, and let's see what's going on. Uh, both your pitch and your roll axis look look kind of noisy, so we'll look at roll first, because roll is usually the most dynamic. And... So... We can see high-frequency noise in the D-term. That's the result of no filtering, probably. Overall, the magnitude of the D-term does not look excessive. The magnitude of the D-term, how far it is above or below the axis, is about the same as the P-term. It's not super super crazy when the P-term is, uh, <clears throat> is, not, is, is it's not super crazy. Um, we well, can see right here that this is the jump to jostly section, right? Something happened. I almost want to chalk this up to wind because it just kind of came out of nowhere. Let's just look a little closer. The P term started climbing. It's really hard to judge what happened first here. The P term started climbing, and then we got this sort of overshoot here. The gyro, they're very well in sync. It's really impossible to tell which, which was first and which was second. It does seem like this is not something going on in your camera, though, because we can see the gyro moving. So that tells us that the whole copter is moving, not just the camera. And here it is again. Ah, uh, I just don't know. I just don't know. Um, so I'm going to just have to go. I, ca I can't really pull anything out of your tune to tell you for sure. Like, here you're full throttle, of course, so who knows? I mean... My first thought would be, I would ask you to reduce your D-gain. Take your D-gain all the way down to like 5 and see what happens. Does the problem go away? I'm not suggesting that you fly that way or that be your final tune, but I am curious what happens if, if, if you do that. Does the problem go away? And that will, if it does go away when you reduce your D, uh, then that's going to point towards noise uh, as the issue. Um, you know, you say you balance your props. I'm sure, I know, you, you know, that's helpful, but those uh, four-inch triples are not the 
probably the most well balanced props in the world. So it could we could have a slightly noisier copter than than normal here. I don't feel like your P gain is excessive because I don't see any signs of really crazy oscillations. It only gets crazy when you go to full throttle. And that also is kind of consistent with noise. Notice that when you go to full throttle, that the uh, the P term doesn't oscillate like a P like excess P gain. Here it's it's sort of all over the place, and that's more consistent with noise, either just excessive noise or uh, ex high excessive D gain. So let me give you a couple different directions you can go here. Reduce your D gain all the way down to like, take, take it to zero if you want to, but five should be fine. See how the copter flies. It might not fly the best, but see if the, 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 the vibrations go away, they're oscillate, whatever you want to call it. Uh, another way you could go is take your gyro cut down to 188 and or add some D-term filtering, one of those two or maybe both. Those are the things I would say that you should try. Uh, this feels to me like a noise-related issue uh, because of the things I've mentioned that that, that we've got this kind of random movement in the P and the D terms. Um, and it's hard to judge whether the D term is tuned correctly because there's so much high frequency noise in it. But overall, it doesn't feel like you have excess D gain most of the time, but it's possible that during periods where the gyro becomes noisy, the D term is high enough that it then becomes overactive. I don't know. I don't feel super confident about that, but I got to give you something, so I'm going to give you that. Yeah, see, look at this P term here. This is not excess P gain oscillation. See how it's kind of all over the place? It doesn't look like a sine wave, right? So that's that feels like noise to me. All right, that's what I'm going to leave you. Hope it's helpful. Happy flying.